to my short chair-based yoga practice. To get started, all you need is your body, your breath, and a chair. It doesn't matter whereabouts in the home you're sitting, or what kind of chair you're sitting in, because the art of yoga is about being present and being with the breath. So, breathing is an amazing tool for calming the mind. The breathing technique I'm going to show you is called Nadi Shodhana or Alternate Nostril Breathing. It's a very effective tool for calming the mind, reducing agitation and improving sleep. So let's begin by resting our hands on our lap. Sit nice and tall and comfortably, but relax the shoulders. And allow the eyes to close. Also gently close the lips and become aware of the breath of the nostrils. Notice the coolness of the inhale and the warmth of the exhale. Now bring the right hand up to the front of the face. The left hand is on the lap. You can engage a little mudra with the left hand by touching the forefinger and thumb together and replacing it on the lap. Or you can use it to support the right elbow. Bring the three middle fingers down, the pinky and the thumb remain straight. We're going to take these place them at either side of the nostrils and they can allow us then to control the airflow. So let's begin by blocking off the right nostril with the thumb and inhaling through the left nostril. Block the left nostril and exhale through the right nostril. Inhale through the right nostril, block the right, release the left and exhale left. Inhale left, block left, exhale right. So that's round one. We're going to do another couple of rounds. So again, the fingers are in the palm of the hand, pinky and thumb remain out and take them to either side of the nostril. Try to breathe into the belly and try to lengthen the air. The exhale also. So block the right nostril, inhale left, block left, exhale right. Inhale right, block right, exhale left. Inhale left, block left, exhale right. Inhale right, block right, exhale left. Next we're going to tap into the body and we're going to try to release any tension in the shoulders and neck. So ensure that the feet are hip width apart. You may need to take the flesh away from the sit bones, root down through the sit bones and elongate through the back, the neck and the crown of the head. Inhale and exhale to look over the left shoulder. Inhale centre, exhale right shoulder. Inhale centre, exhale left. Inhale centre, and exhale right. Bring the head back to the centre and inhale to draw the shoulders up towards the ears and exhale to release. Inhale shoulders to ears, exhale release. Take the hands and bring them by the side of the chair, hands facing outwards. 
everybody has physical limitations, so do not go beyond yours. Inhale the hands up towards the ceiling, extend through the fingertips. Be careful not to crunch the shoulders up towards the ears. And exhale, the hands down. Inhale, reaching through the fingertips, long through the back. Exhale, the hands down. And one more time, inhale, both arms up. And this time we're just going to exhale the left hand down and hold on to the side of the chair for support as we hinge ourselves over to the left. Be conscious of the work in the right side body and ask yourself what it would feel like if you were to bring the arm closer to the ear and draw the right shoulder blade back. Breathe. Bring the right arm down. Inhale, both arms up. Exhale, the right arm down this time. Inhale, and exhale to hinge to the right. Bring the left arm down. We're going to take some seated cat cows or Marajasana Vitalasana now. So again, sitting tall, soles of the feet are planted on the ground. The palms are in the lap. And we're going to round through the back, draw the shoulder blades back as if you're pinching a pencil between the shoulder blades. And draw a line with the nose up towards the ceiling. And exhale, we're going to round through the back and take the chin to the chest, draw the navel in. Inhale, slide the hands up the thighs, round through the back, heart centered lips. And exhale, rounding through the back, navel draws in. Two more times. So you're working the shoulders, the spine, the abs, and the pelvic core muscles. Very good. And the next asana I'm going to introduce you to is called Dancing Cat. So it's a similar movement except this time we're going to incorporate the legs. But it's important to remember that if you can't lift the leg very high, it doesn't matter. Just uh, the simple act of feeling the abs contract and lifting the foot off the floor is enough. So inhale. Draw a line with the nose, look up towards the ceiling, shoulder blades come back. And exhale, we're going to lift the left knee, the right knee, towards the nose. Inhale, foot goes back to the floor, shoulder blades draw back. Exhale, we're going to take the left knee towards the nose. So we'll take two more of those on each side. Leg lifts as you exhale. So this gives the legs a boost and helps to combat blood clots. So we want to get the lymphatic fluid moving around through the legs now. So hold on to the side of your chair. And let's just activate the legs by lifting them parallel to the floor. And in yoga we're always marrying the breath to the movement. Place both legs on the floor. Lift the right ankle up and just rotate the ankle clockwise and then anti-clockwise. If you have any swelling in the ankles, it could be due to a blockage in the lymphatic system, which is part of your immune system, left leg. 
clockwise. So these movements will help to reduce it. Very good. We're going to take a downward facing dog now. If you find it difficult to get out of the chair, just do it, remain and seat it. So you can sit back into the chair. You can use the back of the chair for support. Just lengthen and elongate through the spine. Pretend there's a little golden thread holding your head up towards the ceiling. Engage the core and lift the legs and arms. Keeping the shoulders away from the ears. So you're strengthening the legs and the upper body. The other option is to use the chair as support. So the feet are hip width apart. Take the hands and place them on the chair. And take the head so that it's parallel with the arms. Take the dog for a little walk by moving both knees, moving the hips, or if you have tight hamstrings, you can just keep the legs bent. Take a few breaths here, keep the gaze soft and between the feet, and then step it in. One step, two step. Curl back up to standing, vertebra by vertebra, heads the last to rise, and return to our chairs. We're going to take child pose or balasana now. So you can slide the arms down the legs, round through the upper back, and allow the head to hang. If you find that hard, you can keep the hands in the lap. Bring the head down and breathe into the diaphragm. Take the hands, put them on the knees, and press back up into a seated position. So if you can start to put these exercises into your daily sitting habit, you'll find that you'll start to feel better, sleep better, and have more focus and energy. Bring the palms together, thumbs towards the forehead. May you have peace in your thoughts, thumbs to lips, peace in your words, and thumbs to sternum, and peace in your heart. Namaste.